hello, it's me, Jeanette. How are you? Hope you've been well. In today's video, I'm sharing how to make an in, ooh, sorry, <laughs> a mini album out of envelopes. And you saw a, maybe you saw a video that I did, I wanna say it was two videos ago. I shared how to, uh, I was decorated an already made envelope a mini album and I said in that video that I was going to show you how to make the base and so I'm finally getting to that. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. Now to start off you're going to need about six envelopes and I think I haven't tried it with another envelope with a different um, closure shape. It, it needs to have this triangle um, flap. <laughs> That's the best way that I can describe it because you can kind of puzzle these envelopes together to create your album and I can't picture it working with any other type of closure. So make sure that your envelopes have these little triangle closure things, these little flaps, triangle flaps. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so sorry for being terrible at describing things. You guys are the best for sticking around despite all that. Okay, so for the first envelope, you're gonna wanna just tuck the, you can either tuck in the closure onto itself and glue it like I did, or you can trim off that first um, that first little closure. It's completely up to you. And now I'm putting some glue on the outside of my envelope. So just at the top there at the closure, and I'm just going to puzzle it in, kind of shimmy it inside of that first envelope. And there is our first page. This is going to be the outside cover of our mini album. As you will see, I'm gonna kind of build off of this space. Okay, so for the next one, <laughs> I'm gonna take another envelope and just, this doesn't have any glue yet, but I just want to place it where it's gonna be glued. So all you're gonna do is repeat this same process and just puzzle these envelopes into themselves by you know gluing the outside of the closure and then just sliding it into place, making sure it's all nice and lined up. And for adhesive, I'm just using a glue stick. Um, if you have uh, PVA glue or some kind of liquid adhesive, I would recommend that as well. But I find that a glue stick is surprisingly strong. So I, I, and it's just really easy to apply. And I don't know, I feel, I don't know, I really, really like glue sticks. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> And I just wanted to share a tip. So theoretically, you can keep building your mini album by just adding more and more envelopes if you want to, to your heart's content forever and ever. <laughs> but I recommend that you restrict your mini album to five envelopes because after a while it gets too bulky and the pages will become uh, misaligned. And I don't, maybe if that doesn't bother you. It does bother me if the pages don't look nice and lined up and I ended up up using at the end of the video you'll see that I ended up using one too many envelopes but I wanted to show you different things that you can do with the envelopes and so that's why it ended up being super bulky but um, yeah I just recommend that you stick to five envelopes max uh, other than that it, it's gonna get a little bit bulky because then you also have to remember they're gonna be filling filling this filling the pockets with more cardstock and it's just gonna get bulkier and bulkier and the pages will not stay completely aligned but if you don't mind that look if you don't mind it at all then definitely go for it but otherwise stick to no more than five envelopes I love how easy this technique is because there's no binding required, no sewing, no stapling. It's just puzzling these envelopes together. And don't forget that you can also use this for a junk journal or even a snail mail a flip book for a pen pal. So here I wanted to add a panel that kind of opened up even further, opened up your mini album even further. So all I'm doing is just adding a little bit of adhesive on the outside of my envelope there and then putting another envelope on top. And so what this is gonna do is just give me an extra panel that opens up and see, it just closes up on itself. And this is what I meant by, <laughs> I made it too bulky because I wanted to add this extra panel to show you what else you could do. All right, so now that the base is done, it's time to add my cover and also the panels, so the mats for every single panel that doesn't have a pocket. And for this, I'm just gonna use some festive fall cardstock, and this is from the Hello Fall collection from Cartabella. I wanted to add a closure to my mini album, and so what I'm gonna do is add a piece of twine before I glue down any of my panels. 
And so what I'm going to do is grab some twine and I'm going to stretch it out across the outside cover. So what you're seeing here on the right, that's my front cover. And then the fall bucket list on the left is the back cover. And so I'm just going to washi tape my twine down to the page and do this on the back. So the back cover and also the front cover. And I wanted to make sure that it was going to close correctly, that there wasn't going to be too much slack. And so that washi tape just kind of helps the twine stay in place so that I can then glue on the panels on the outside. So here I'm tying a knot and I'm not going to trim off the excess just yet because of course I'm not done with my album yet. I'm still going to fill it up with all sorts of fall, festive fall stuff. And so I'm going to leave the excess on until I know how bulky it's going to be and then I'll cut off the excess of the twine. But here I'm just gluing down my panels and actually my front cover is two pieces of scrappy leftovers that I had. I really love <laughs> I really love the Hello Fall collection. It's really nice and most of it was used up um, making Traveler's notebook inserts and so these are just leftover pieces, <laughs> hence why there's two different patterns on the front. So yeah, super easy to make these, uh, to add, sorry, the twine closure to this mini album. And if you don't have any twine, you can also use some thick ribbon. I really wish I had some thick, like either brown or orange ribbon to go around it. That would make a really nice closure. Or um, you can also use a scrap, like a thin scrap of fabric and just tie it on the outside. Um, it's really up to you. You can also use baker's twine and I just went with this regular twine because it kind of had a harvest sort of feel. So now it's time to glue down the panels to the parts of my mini album that don't have a pocket. So here you see on the right there's a pocket from the envelope and so I'm going to be adding the panels, so these mats only to the sections that do not have the pocket on them and then pulling mostly from scraps, scrappy leftovers that I have from the Hello Fall collection, but also pulling other papers from my stash that kind of have an autumn sort of orangey feel. <laughs> I'm so happy with how my little mini album is coming along. I hope that this is inspiring you to try it. It's so easy. I know sometimes there's tutorials that I see on, uh, on YouTube that I'm like, hmm, that looks too tricky. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm lazy. I don't know. But hopefully this one is easy enough for you to try. I think it is. I mean, you know, just, just watch the tutorial again. Give it a shot. What You know, at the end of the day, it's just paper. So give it a try. And here I'm just adding some pieces of cardstock into the pockets. And this is going to be where I add my photos or other, um, other collage-y kind of scrapbook-y elements. And when I pull those out, that's going to reveal the picture inside, or maybe I'll type something up like a memory and do kind of more of a journal. But anyway, yeah, this was super fun to make, and I hope that you were inspired to try it out yourself. Really easy. And yeah, now I hope that you go and run to your craft stash to see if there's any envelopes that you can try this out on. It's, it's super fun, guys. Well, that's the end of the video. If you would like to see more of my crafty projects, you can follow me on Instagram at Jeanette Lane Blog, or you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.